Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be doing a uh, an automatic farm, uh, except this time we're going to be using a rotary craft uh, to the to do the farming. Uh, normally I'd use a mine factory reloaded, or you could use something like forestry. But uh, I'm trying to use all the uh, uh, rotary craft stuff, and with it being new and all the new mods, so might as well use it. So. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we've got to build ourselves a fan. Uh, the fan's pretty easy to make. You just pretty much need a uh, uh, a gear and four ingots on the outside to make a uh, an impeller. So let's just go and make that first. Um, let's do it with two bench. Okay, so gear in the center, and then four HSLs. A steel ingots on the outside gets to that impeller. Chuck the impeller in the center. Put two base panels in the bottom corners. Put a shaft unit in the bottom free slot, and then put five pieces of plank wood. Oh, sorry, wrong place. Once again, you need to put it in the uh, work table from Rotary Craft. So let's do it again. Five pieces of wood on the outside power in the center, shaft unit at the bottom, and base panel like that. So we've got a fan, and what else have we got here? We've got, I thought I had a gearbox somewhere. Uh, six, and I'm gonna need to make a four times gearbox, so it's a two X, it's an eight X, we've got, let's make a two X gears. Ah, uh, sure, we need to make those single gears first. Let's make a couple of those. 2x gear. Like that and there. Gets us our four times gear. And have I got the wood required for a 4x gearbox? Should be like that. Cool. 4x gear. 4x gear there. There we go, a uh, 4x gearbox. Uh, the reason why we're going to use a 4x gearbox is because we're going to power our fan with our to say, DC electric engine. Now, the DC electric engine has enough um, it has enough torque to power on but it doesn't have enough uh, speed so we're going to need to ramp speed up. Uh, we're just going to borrow this one for the time being. Okay so what we'll do is we will put uh, our DC electric engine down first. Flip it around so it's outputs that way. Uh, let's get our gearbox. Put it there. Output is red, right direction. Hook up a lubrication pipe. I think it needs to go to the side of the gearbox. To, there it is inside of it. Excellent. So we're pulling some out of the reservoir. You're gonna need to make some more later. Anyway, so we've got that. Let's put down a base for our farm. So let's just go here. Uh, that's what and then dirt for farm. Now, <clears throat> like I said, this needs to run uh, at a fast speed for the fan to uh, harvest the food. So we're gonna need to uh, set this to speed mode. So it should set the speed mode, good, yep. So it'll turn the 256 rads a second um, on this DC engine over to um, 1024, which is enough speed, which allows the fan to uh, convert, uh, not convert, um, to pull the plants out of the soil. Um, however, the fan will have a limited range of about uh, seven meters which my calculation is about five blocks um, plus a little bit more okay so we just chuck this fan down blue shows you which direction the wind's gonna go okay to right clean up the outside a bit more okay do that let's uh I'm going to use uh, canola seeds so we can get an automatic uh, 
uh, lubrication system going up soon. This is what this is, what this is for. Okay, so let's see. Okay, far, far, far from thinking that there. Okay, so now we need to make something that will collect uh, the canal seeds at the end. So we're going to use a hopper and a chest. That should work fine. How have I got extra iron? Two iron there. I oh, know I've got extra iron flakes over here. Okay, let's go those. Gonna need to cook three of them up. Don't, ooh, don't drop that many. <coughs> so quickly run this over to the furnace. Uh, let's just put eight in there so we don't use up any spare coal. Whoop, what did I do? Ah, I got these digger packs, packs and they, they pick up items for me. There we go. Whoop, there we go. So, let's go and make that, uh, make a chest first. So, we need to make two chests. One will go inside the hopper. Okay. So, let's go grab some ingots out of the furnish. One more. The next episode, we're going to replace that um uh, DC engine with some um, some wind power. So make sure you watch that. Okay, so ing it, ing it, ing it, ing it on the outsides roughly. One down the middle. Chest in the middle gets us our hopper. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now canola seeds don't need water, but um, obviously if you need water, put water somewhere, I guess. Uh, okay, chests. We'll put the chest here. Make sure right click the chest with the hopper so that it's plugged into it. That's good. Let's make this thing a little bit more nice by putting some glass blocks down. So we can see the items go into the hopper. I didn't mean to do that one. Oh, oh I'll soak touch it. Yeah, there we go. I've got to stop using these um, backpacks while doing the uh, let's plays. <laughs> there we go. Like that. So this is at the speed mode. This needs the leather. Okay. Leather, we've got cobblestone, yep. Okay, will this work here? Nope. I'm gonna need to put a stone block down. There we go. Once again, it's probably in the backpack, yep, it is. There we go. As you can see, the fan's turning. Staying in it. You can see it's 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 not very strong, but it is pushing me. I'll fix that. That's what I just destroyed. There we go. Have I got a watering bucket on me? Yep. So if we just water this area, get these things to grow really fast. Which they're not because it's night time. Uh, where's my bed? Over here. <clears throat> okay, so now we can test this out. Um, the other reason why I want to change this over to wind power is wind power, just one wind turbine is capable of actually running four of these without, e without using a gearbox and those gearboxes do take a lubricant and I'd rather not make more lubricant when I don't need it, so yeah. Go on, grow faster. Okay, that one's almost done. Should pop soon.
There we go, and we should see it pop somewhere. There goes one, goes in the chest, and as you can see, sometimes you don't actually see the canola seeds come through, but they do. So we've got 11 out of that. Oh, see, it makes it hard to jump on stuff. So you can actually use this thing to push mobs back if you want to as well. Yeah. And I think that's about it for today. Uh, as you can see, um, oh, there it is. So this will essentially work for running on no power at all, really. And you get canola seeds or whatever point you want to put in there. So I think that's about it for today, guys. Uh, like it if you do like it. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And as, as always, yeah.